Yeah, hi guys, just thought I'd do a uh, video on the tears there. Um, they're re really kicking into gear, I've noticed, so um, I'll just do a bit of a, a rundown on, on what to watch for and what to look out for. So, this fellow here, um, the Rapture is a Jesuit creation uh, by two high-ranking Satanic Vatican Jesuit priests. Alright, so I'll let you, you can pause that and read that later on. But he goes on through, on on about the usual Nelson Darby, alright, um, Executive Brethren, what's he saying? Exclusive Brethren, in which famed, a uh, famed Satanist, Alistair Crowley. So yeah, he's, he, he's connected Alistair Crowley with Darby or whatever, so, um, You're right there, you're gonna stop playing. Yeah, so, I, whatever, I, I, um, <laughs> I go through all the trouble of, of, I've been there before, going through all the trouble of going through and asking these fellas for their sources, and I go through and get their sources, and they'll have, like, uh, sources that have, you know, the little padlock at the top of your screen there? There'll be sources where that thing's broken, and they'll say, that's a Jesuit, uh, Jesuit site, of the richest people in the world, Jesuits, are going to have a shady, shonky little broken lock website. I don't think so. <laughs> but but uh, anyway, after a while of battling with this lot and uh, making videos and proving all their stuff and uh, all their sources are rubbish, um, you, you come to the conclusion, um, because what they'll say to you is when you try and use stuff like Wiki or uh, King James Bible and uh, you know the f the forty eight scholars that wrote it and all that sort of stuff. All of them Jesuits. Wiki's Jesuits. Uh, blah blah blah. Everything's a Jesuit. Every source you try and bring up to them is Jesuit. So uh, you you come to the conclusion that it's I'm tackling the wrong battle, right? It's not they've got the f wrong information. It's just they don't want the right information. They don't want the truth, right? So the thing is, uh, if you're not uh, gonna gonna uh, come to the conclusion that you hate lies, right? You don't want lies. You won't lie to your son or your kids. You won't lie to your friends. You don't lie to anyone. You hate lies, right? Once you come to that, then you can love truth. All right. So uh, once you love truth, then truth will start to make itself available available to you. And what did Jesus say he was? He is the truth. All right. So um, you you'll find the truth. All right. And uh, and people with fruit of the spirit, you'll know. Them. Right, you just know. So here, I, I, I put down there, I started off to put down there that I'll give me your sources, and I thought, I'm tired of this, I am so tired of dealing with these people. And so I just put down how to spot a tear, because um, you've got mockers and scoffers, right? but then you've got tears. Um, and this guy is a real tear, a proper one, right? So um, you go through this, uh, you will know them by their fruits. All right, you only need to taste the flavor of a tear to realize it's not wheat. Um, if someone profess, professes to be a believer and yet habitually takes license with man and God's laws, uh, they pretend, you know, they'll be nicey-nicey for a little while. Uh, tears will mimic the wheat as closely as possible before blooming in order to outly appear similar and gain a following. Uh, they possess an air of moral superiority. Alright, so in this, their attempts to come alongside to be disguised, they have no understanding of the concept of grace, since they cannot imitate this quality. Alright, um, <clears throat> they are legalists, um, kin of legalist versus grace, a, par a paradigm of how one goes to heaven. When quizzed, they are found relying on self effort. Alright, uh, they possess an improper emphasis. So they'll always uh, fight things or tackle things that are just n not the wrong things to attack. Tears fight the wrong battles and possess no real interest in changing the hearts of people through the love of Christ. Theirs is a fascination with outward change with no real God can only give this understanding. So God, you know, gives you all the fruits of the Spirit. God gives you um, as gifts. Alright, so um, if you can't name the fruits of the Spirit, you probably don't have them. Um, understanding of the concept or need of inward change. They are essential. So yeah, these guys will be have the really nasty, um, hard 
porn on their computers and that with with violence and whatever else. Uh, they claim to be sinless. All right. Now, tears are not humble about their personal sin. Uh, they deny it. They are never wrong. Um, heretical Gnostics described in one job possessed a holier than thou attitude. Uh, they are controlling and accusatory. All right, so many of you will know that one. Takeaway of John 3 is that tares tend to seek control and are unrelenting in their false accusations of true believers. In their slander, they bring about divisiveness, stay away from power hungry over controlling people, especially if they they uh, they name the name of Christ. Such qualities are not becoming. Um, so, yeah, I put that there, and he's come back with both of you will be held accountable for turning the scripture into idle words to justify your false beliefs. Um, blah blah blah. You will have their place in the lake of fire. Now you talk about researching things. I deleted the research. I wasn't interested. Um, yet you have done no such thing. Uh, doctors, demons. Get thee hence from me, Satan. Blah blah blah. So he nailed the like the full uh, spectrum there. He got A, C, D, E, G, H in one go. And the only reason why he's missing B is because B is where is it? Pretend. He wasn't pretending. <laughs> he, he just didn't bother pretending there. So that was pretty pretty good. So uh, this is his channel here. So uh, you know, if you're a man of God. You wake up thinking about God, you go to sleep thinking about God, and you love God. All right? God's on your mind all the time. So, <clears throat> we'll see who's on his mind. This is his channel. Liquid Death. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What's he say there? All seeing iron. Yeah, well, it was an ancient Iron Age. Lithite. Lith what? Moses, uh, okay. Yeshua was a Yiddish curse. <laughs> so you see why God's led him over to um, to be corrupted, giving him over. He, he's getting what he wants. You know, he he doesn't want he doesn't want God. It's just oh, yeah, oh, scary. So he's worse than I thought, actually, but. That's the thing. This this is tears. All right. This they they're coming full full springing out now. They're all just ready for harvest. And um, there's there's a fair few. So um, just to keep an eye on these guys and don't. There's actually no need to reply to them because they're really not interested. They just want to fight you. So if you think you're gonna save these guys, you know, just leave it to God. God, this is God's good good with these sort of stuff he'll, he'll save him you, you watch god will get this guy and save him um but it'll be a bit later but uh yeah don't don't let your hearts be um hurt by these sort of people just just carry on and um edify the church and go and find those that want want to find god all right and um the lost sheep and uh, and uh, happy days all right, so yeah, God bless guys, I hope that helps.